hey guys welcome to another tutorial class for today on today's class we'll be looking at how to assemble this starter okay we're looking at how to assemble a tg950 generator starter uh, without we'll further ado let's dive into the class into the tutorial proper okay this is the pan like you guys all know this is the starter pan it's called the starter pan this is called the starter spring and this is called the roller this is called the casher and this is called the rope okay these are the basic or the most important things of a starter okay and this is this pan itself is used to this is the icing on the cake entirely this is used to cover this part of the starter all right let's go first thing first you fix the spring okay you fix the spring this is actually the most difficult part of this um tutorial but i'll make it looks easy for you guys okay before facing the spring this part of the spring should be hooked to a particular part okay we have different hooks here we have one two three four you can put it on any particular part i can decide to turn the starter and use here decide to turn the starter and use here any part at all is fine by me okay just put it in the part you feel most comfortable all right what you do next is you roll the starter the starter spring in why then it be very very careful while you roll with one hand use the other hand to support the starter spring to the pan it's very very important okay We are almost there. All right. Okay. We've rolled in the starter spring, which is what you do next. You, if you don't have access to the grease, I'll be using the grease here to lubricate the spring a little but if you don't have access to the grease you can simply use your engine oil it's very effective as well this is to lubricate the spring because the spring returns regularly while trying to pull when you pull it opens up and return back to position so there is need for proper greasing all right that's done what we do next we pick up the roller this is the roller this particular point of the roller fits into this point of the spring okay this particular point of the roller fits into this point of the spring this particular point i'll say it multiple times for emphasis but before doing that you you get the rope you fix the rope so it's going to be easy for you because after fixing this and you try putting the rope though you can still put it to not like you can't put it you can put the rope but it's going to be a little stressful for you so you fix the rope first so it's easy you fix the rope first through this hole insert into this hole take it out from this part so this is it this is what i've done now this is what i've done so what you do next you tie this particular point okay take cognizance of how i knot it of how i tie it is very very important this will this is to ensure that while you pull the rope doesn't come out of this place okay because if you don't tie it properly and you pull the rope comes out from this and all effort is in vain all right after doing that you put this through this point very very essential so you know you don't have to come back to this point you don't have to come back fixing the rope all right let's go remember i was saying this particular point fits into this point of the spring that's what you do if you do that it works out fine if you don't do that it doesn't work so let's go 
okay it's i think it's in already okay it's in already how do i know it's in how do i know the spring connected con connects to this uh, rolling pan it's because when i take it um at the clockwise it returns okay that is one way to know your spring and your roller are in perfect um as are, are together okay now what do we do next let's take this rope and use it for this particular handle remember the way i tied the other one inside the roller that's how you're going to do it here it's very very important okay very important so when you pull as well your rope don't come out from this particular point all right we're halfway there we we'll successfully inserted the spring we we'll successfully connected this roller to the spring and what we do next we put the casher to this roller okay i like using grease regularly especially for parts where i feel it's a necessity okay where do i use grease for now this particular point okay use grease for this particular point because it goes down to this point this kasha this is called kasha it goes to this point so grease is necessary to really aid for free movement and it's free and easy movement okay that's it then the last thing which is the icing on the cake to really give us what we want is this this pan this pan is connected this particular pan has a spring or a hook as you want to call it as well and it's connected to this other part of the kasha then what do we do next we make sure they are together all right not sure the camera can get that but i hope you do understand what i just explained up next you tight and then what we've done now is we've successfully fixed the entire component of the starter but one last step is left now that last step is to make this rope go inside and come out it goes in and return goes in come out just like that whatever statement you think is right there just insert it into it but basically we need to make this rope start functioning so what we do this is it we get the rope you see how long it's, it's outside then we take a little a little of it inside so we have uh, a good length to do what we want to do so now we use the rope anti-clockwise after hooking it to this particular point we take it anti-clockwise anti-clockwise means to your left so we take it to our left okay to our left to our left that's two and the third time okay then what we do after taking it three times we take it off the hook we take it off the hook and this time we let it go we let it go okay you see we've pulled we've been able to do the starter rope at least it's been able to come out and go in as as it should be but there's a little issue the entirety of the rope has not gone in so what do we do again we still look for the hook okay we look for the hook and then we rotate anti-clockwise but this time we are going once because the rope is quite short we are going just once once and then we leave it okay okay what we've done now is we've successfully assembled a starter from scratch okay now you can fix this starter to your tg950 generator and it will work out fine okay just a little 
something i just noticed this has not entirely gone in right but we want it to go in entirely we'll pull out a little then we'll go one more time this time around it should good see okay so we've successfully fixed an assembled a starter for a tg950 generator if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to this channel and share this link to friends and family please do well to turn on the notification bell as well so when other videos are posted on this channel you are among the first to see till we meet in our next class it's goodbye from us